Hello students, we are here in the AES library today with Miss Heather, myself, Ms. Michelle. I'm gonna show you a couple of things to help us prevent any further diseases from spreading in our school. First thing I wanna show is our little pack of tissues. So Miss Heather is gonna write out on the board tissues. They usually come in this little pack of paper tissues. And what you do with them Hold them open. Whenever you pop, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Sneeze right into the tissue. The tissue prevents from all the germs going anywhere else. So if I didn't use my tissue and I sneeze, yeah. Miss Heather is gonna catch that spit right in her face, and then whatever disease I have, Miss Heather then will also have. No, thank you. She doesn't like that. So. Tissue, when you sneeze, put it back in your pocket. If you feel like you need to cough or your hands are sticky, grab it out of your pocket. Wipe your nose. I feel a tickle in my nose. Miss Heather, do you think I should put my finger in my nose? No. Or use my tissue? Use your tissue. Use my tissue. Okay, so pull up my nose, hold it back up, put it in my pocket. If I notice that my tissue is dirty, Miss Heather, what do I do? Throw it out? No. What do I do? You should put it in the garbage. In the garbage. Very good. You put it in the garbage, in the trash bin, tissue gone, and then you grab your pack, grab a new tissue. Alright, first one, tissue or tissues. We have more than one. Second thing I want to show you students is this little bottle. Miss Heather, do you have any idea what this is? I think the first word is hand. Very good, hand. Second word is a little bit more difficult, and Ms. Heather is going to write down for us, is hand sanitizer. So what you do with this ball, is you open it up, put it on your hand, a little squirt, and you rub it in your hands. So what it does, it's actually cleaning your hands like water and soap would do. So it's, it, if you don't have water, you don't have soap, you're running forward and you need to eat something or you want to touch your mask or your face, you can use some hand sanitizer. Ms. Heather, you want to try this? I would love to. All right. So, do you think hold the whole bottle or a little bit? Just a, a small drop. A small drop. All right. Perfect. What do I do now? All right. So just like you're washing your hands, you're going to rub it all over. It's first in the middle and then perfect. Look how Ms. Heather is doing this on top of her hands, making sure all the germs are gone. So it's hand sanitizer and rubbing that will do the trick. Hand sanitizer. Excellent. The last thing that we're gonna do for today, as you're gonna see this everywhere, is masks. This is my mask, it's nice and white. It has a name on the front and little ears on the back. Oh, I just pull it over. And then here with the top bridge, and pitch it and make sure it's on okay. Mask, Miss Heather. Face mask. Face. Face mask. Very good. All right. I want to show you another one. So this is mine. Miss V was wearing this today. Can you see the difference between this mask and this mask? Miss Heather, can you see a difference? I think this is a different color. Different color. All right. So they do exactly the same thing. They protect me from coughing, sneezing, and projecting it onto somebody else. But this one has two colors. Now, do you think it's the same way, both ways around? Can I wear it like this, or do you have to wear it like that? I think the name should be on the outside. The name should be on the outside. So with white mask, very difficult. You can only read the name. With colored mask, blue, yellow, red, hmm. the color has to be on the outside. So we wear it just like this. Do I need to wear two masks or one mask? Just one. Just one mask. Okay. Sometimes you'll see people wearing different kind of masks. So Miss Heather has one in her pocket, a face mask. It's a little bit different. She puts it over, has a little bridge for her nose, so it closes down nice and tightly, and even has a breathing pocket. So it's a very good mask, even when she rides her bicycle or bike. Uh, the difference is a little bit hot. So, if you notice that your mask is slipping and sliding everywhere, try to keep it in place without touching it too much. Because if you touch it, 
if Miss Heather sneezes, if I touch it and my hands are not sanitized or not washed, I'm spreading all the droplets, all the spit, all the germs everywhere. Try to not touch it as much as you can. Put it in place, now you're good to go. Miss mm -hmm. Heather, what are the three things that we just saw? Can I remove my mask to tell you, Mr. Michel? In this case, you can. Oh, okay. So that all the kids can hear me clearly. The first thing we need to use are tissues. Remember to make that sound like a, like a snake at the end. The second thing is hand sanitizer. Clean those hands as much as you can. The third thing is your face mask. Don't forget your face mask to keep all of your peers clean and healthy. Miss Heather, thank you so much. Thank you. Students have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.